Hi there and welcome to your Native Teams employer account. So this video is going to be a short walkthrough to all of the important solutions that we offer for you in your Native Teams account and for your team members as well. To start with, let me show you the organization switcher. So all of our employer accounts will have one organization, which is the default Native Teams one, which you can use as a personal workspace or you have your company account, which will be customized by you when you first logging into the Native Teams account. So you need to check that you are in the correct organization and this is for your team and this would be your team or employer account. Now, once we are there, this is your dashboard and this is the left hand side menu, which have all of the solutions of Native Teams. So as you can see here, then the dashboard is a summary of all of the actions that happened within your Native Teams account. Let's start with the wallet. The wallet will be in your payment section. And the company wallet page is actually a page of all of the, the wallets, multi-currency wallets that you would like to use. Let's take the Euro wallet as an example. You will have the available balance, you'll have your IBAN, your SWIFT, and your wallet reference as well. On the right side, you have a list of all transactions going in and out of your company wallet. Next, let's talk about people and how you invite your team members. In the people section here, you will have the ability to add team members manually or via CSV file. If you decide to go with CSV file, we will have the template for you. Once they're here, you can actually start employing them or using the employee management hub. Here, it's nested under the employment section. So here you can actually see all of your team members and start an EOR for them. Or again, you can import EORs via CSV file and we will have the template for it as well. So here you can see the status of it as well, if it is in progress, if it is employed or unemployed. And for those who are not using the employment as a service solution, you can start the application from here. Payroll calculator is again to be found in the employment section and this will help you select who you are, select the country of employment that you want to offer for some of your team members and have a calculation of the net and gross amount and the total cost that you will need to cover for your team. Next is expenses. Expenses is a solution where your team members are actually sending you expenses through the Native Teams platform and they would come to your inbox here. So once you have them, you can filter them in all received, settled and inactive. And here you choose to pay them. You can see the attachments, you can see where the expense details are and pay into wallet or pay into salary. You don't have to worry then if you need to pay into salary, you just let know us by clicking this button and our team is going to do it. And the last thing would be the apps management that you should really know how to work on because this has to do with the absence management of your team members, which is related to the employment and their salaries as well. So here you will receive notifications about some of your team members requesting an access management and you can actually accept them or decline them. Also, you can add yourself a management, um, an absence management, if you know that some of your team members is actually going on a vacation. You can select a team member from here and they will be sent to our team. The last thing that I wanted to show you is the add and send money, which has to do about adding money to your company wallet or sending money to your team members. If you wanna add money to your company wallet, you just click here, you select how much you want to add, and you go to the payments options, which is bank account, credit card, PayPal, or you can request a payment. Once that is done, the funds will be topped up to your company wallet. 
When you want to send money to your team members, go to someone else, continue, and then you can select a one wallet. You can select to send money to them via the bank or use a batch transfer, which is the most used case for our employer accounts. So if you click continue here, you, sell, you add the amount, which can be edited later on, and you can actually select the employees to whom you want to send this money. You can also filter them by country, and you select the transaction type as well, and this money will be sent to their respective wallets as such. Thank you very much.